Hi, so we're the Adventurous Tailors. We're going to be showing you a three-part series on teaching your toddler to ski. Meaning we're going to take these little people and we're going to put them on skis, two planks, boots, and put them on a mountain and let them slide down. And it is truly so, so much fun. It's worthwhile to do. This is part one of our series, which is why teach your toddler how to ski. We'll then follow that up with part two which is about the gear. And part three is how, how to actually do it when you're out there on the mountain. So enjoy the series. Thank you so much for watching. Today, we're gonna to talk about skiing with toddlers. Some of the challenges, but really a lot of the rewards that you get from, you know, from sharing that activity with your kids, especially at such a young age. It's amazing how quickly they take up on it. And what we hope to do is tell you about some of our experience and show you some clips of the kids going skiing, um, some tricks as far as things that we've learned that's worked. Um, also talk about some of the things that have not worked. Yeah, so we'll start with the why. So why take your kids skiing? It's a family fun physical activity that you can do. Most of the time in the winter, it's really dreary. Not a lot that you can do. On the days that are nice, you really want to go out and share something that's fun, but it's cold a lot of times, and a lot of people don't like to spend time in the cold. Well, if you mix the outdoor conditions with some type of physical activity, um, and something that's a little more adventurous that the kids might actually like, it's, it turns into a great family experience. For as long as we've been dating, married, together, we love to ski. It is kind of like, our individual uh, kind of like a moment of strength that we get being out on the mountain being able to test yourself challenge yourself and then enjoy the social part of it too so kind of taking our own paths down the trails that we're going but then riding up the chairlift together and we just love the bonding um, experience of being out in nature and getting that breath of fresh air and also doing something that's physically challenging and rewarding so during grad school, um, what we'd actually do is that there's a local hill um, close to our house called Perfect North Slopes. Highly recommend it. It's a great place to go. During grad school, we would actually go to Perfect North probably three to four times a week um, during the evenings after class, after we get out of lab. Um, and it was just a great time to go, go spend a couple of hours just really blowing off some steam and just having a lot of fun. So. That's really where we fell in love with skiing is at Perfect North Slopes during graduate school. Yeah, and we also, about once a year is all we could afford, but we would go to Park City. I was lucky, someone in my family had um, a house out there at the time, and so we, once a year we'd go to Park City together as a family and just really challenge ourselves more on those bigger slopes. So that was also amazing and a ton of fun. And you actually ended up proposing to me, was it at the canyons or Deer Valley out in Park City. I think it was the canyons. It was so awesome. Anyway, it was it was really, really cool. That's how much we love to ski together. And even yeah. though we live in the Midwest, we wanted to instill that in our kids as well. So some of the other things that skiing does for children is that um, it really builds on their um, balance, their Good depth job. perception, their reflexes, their ability to see something coming at them and them to be able to make an adjustment in their course. A lot of those things will, you know, if you develop those at a young age, we think will actually pay off as they get older. And skiing is one of those activities that happens very fast that you have to develop those skills at a pretty high level um, in order to be able to maneuver, you know, down the mountain. Yeah, it's like, it's about decision making um, and there's a lot of independence with that. So especially for our three-year-old who has been, you know, the last few months really wanting to be more independent as anyone with a two or a three-year-old understands, <laughs> that's like the negotiation that you're making with them all the time as a parent is when to let them be independent and when to help them. So skiing, um, we've really seen her just completely fall in love with it. And I think a big reason is because she knows we're there for her. It's still a social activity, but um, there's a lot of independence and in decision-making that she's having to make when she's out there on the slopes. So part of the how is, how do you know when they're ready? You know, just like any new activity that you do with your kids, you look for certain triggers to show that they have an interest and in, in, an ability to be able to do the activity that you're going to set out in front of them. So with our kids, we, we have two. We have Clara, who's now three years old, and Bryce, who's just about to turn two. One of the things that we really looked for when we started uh, teaching them to ski was just a, a overall physical awareness of their body. Um, and this includes things like they like to climb things. They like to jump off um, different types of objects. They don't 
automatically fall once they once they do jump off. Yeah. Um, they, it goes without saying they should be walking. Yeah, yes, like they have some balance, have some awareness of how to control. Yeah. It should be able to be maneuverable while Where also carrying doing? different types of gear. So yeah, as we'll show in a little bit, of course they have their skis and their ski boots, but the clothes are kind of bulky. They have a helmet. They have, um, for our kids, we use a backpack. All those type of things are going to kind of sh change their center of gravity. And so if they're going to be able to ski, they need to be able to adjust their center of gravity based on these different um, accessories that, that they're wearing at that given time. So we really look for that kind of body awareness. Um, and what we found with our kids is right about the age of two is when we started to see that, that ability. So we started Clara almost exactly at two years old. Uh, for her second birthday, we actually bought her her first pair of skis. And for Bryce, we started him a little bit early. I think it was around 21 months mm -hmm. is when we first started him out uh, skiing. So those are our big reasons why you should take the risk and get out there on the mountain, take your little baby skiing. Um, I know it seems like it's a little bit of a crazy idea, but it's truly so, so, so much fun um, and really probably no crazier than taking them hiking or to a jump house or whatever. Yeah. So thanks so much for watching. If you like what you see, please subscribe and follow our journey. And be sure to check out part two of this series where we walk you through all the gear you'll need to take your toddler skiing. And finally, most importantly, part three, where we explain our tips and tricks and strategies we use on the slopes, where we show you how to teach your toddler to ski. Thanks for watching, guys.